Welcome back, everybody. So many of you have asked for more insights from our beautiful light being friends and also to understand more of the higher light science. We all have so many different gifts to give and skill sets to share. And in a previous video, we talked about telepathy. And today we wish to go a little deeper into channeling before our light being friends share about the five steps to global ascension. As many of you know, one of my trainings that came in from the Acturian system is the reality of source feeding. Because the impact of this on a global consciousness is so big. The fact that we learn to tap into another resource that we can all access it's with us all the time and to be fed from this so we no longer need to be involved in the energy of killing, for example. Our planet has a way to go. Vegan is coming. A vegan planet will come. Then more and more will come into source feeding. What happened in 1993 was not something that any of us were looking for. We were looking for ascension. We just wanted to be our best version selves. And at that time, our group would come together and we would go into channeling mode. And at one point, I got quite confused. I'd never been in an ascension group before. I'd always been in the groups of satsang. And satsang is a beautiful yogi tradition of the sharing of truth. And we had this every night in our community where the premies, which were, is a name given for those of the lovers of the divine. We would gather in our community because we we're all working with a beautiful, beautiful Indian guru, Guru Maharaji, who taught us techniques of the ancient Vedas. And so one of the tenets was to share satsang, share words of truth, to be vegetarian, to do daily meditation, morning and evening, and to come together and share, use the voice box to share from our heart, share words of truth about how this journey of self-mastery and self-exploration was progressing for us to allow our divine nature to speak to each other. So I'd had over 20 years of training with that, but the ascension reality was very different. And also the unexpected gift of, in 93, of, of not needing to take physical food anymore. So we would gather, same, and we would share. And I'd get confused because what was coming through in the channeling process was so different. Every person who just came into silent stillness and began to have the ascended master matrix speak through them were bringing in different vibrations and different words and different imaging. And one day I'd pulled up at the house where we were going to gather again and I just sat in the car and went, uh, help. I'm confused. Why is it that one woman in our group is always channeling Jesus, but messages of doom and gloom and be aware of evil and be aware of this and, and everyone sins and a very interesting, deep, almost um, Catholic 
reality of of the sinners and many many things which I just did not relate to because that wasn't my Christian upbringing for me I was more aligned to not Jesus hanging from the cross uh, but the Jesus standing with the hands out and the heart open, just the, the, the beautiful one of peace and love. And so I've been locked in vibrationally into a different hologram. I didn't understand. We were just running in different holograms. But the image that came through was so interesting. And the Holy One said, look, number one, Everything people receive in experience then has to be transmitted through the mental framework and the hologram you are most deeply anchored into. It then comes through the voice box. And remember, the voice has a vibration as well. And the way beings speak, if they're always telepathic, it may sound a little different when they're having to use the human voice as well. But I didn't know that. But they said everything must come through in the plane of words and language through certain filters. So there's no such thing as 100% pure channeling unless you are in deep meditation interacting directly with this infinite quantum intelligence that is in you and around you. Go direct. If you want the truth, go direct, always go into the field of love and then allow what needs to come to you, a higher insight, a vision, an understanding, go direct. But at that point, we were gathering and we were sharing. And so I sat in the car and went, oh, what's going on? So I began to understand something because telepathy and the languages of light are really fast in their transmission. It's like when you see an opening scene of a movie and you've just read the book and that book took 50 pages to describe something that you can get in a minute in an opening scene of a movie because you're getting it on all levels, visually, auditorily, on a sense, the music, everything, quick transmission. And so this vision came with these beings of light who wanted to demonstrate rather than talk to me telepathically. And this world disappeared. And I saw myself on a football field watching a game of football and it was exciting. The vibration, we had thousands and thousands of people in this big, big stadium. Everybody absolutely engrossed with the game. There were two teams, one in black, one in white, classic, darkness and light, and they'd play and they'd interact and one would have the ball and run away. The light is winning. The white guys are winning. And then they'd lose the ball and the energy would turn and the game would change. The black guys got the ball and the black guys were running and winning and the whole crowd was <laughs> this pendulum of energy and I was like watching like everybody I was just oh, wow you know really exciting it was such a mesmerizing game and then I just started to just relax and I felt a call and I felt there was something else that needed my attention and so I just turned around and I saw behind me something that just took my breath away. Now, the people in my group that I was about to go in and be with, and this woman who shares so much about these things, she was right beside me. You know, this doom and gloom and very, I realized later she was raised a Catholic, so she had a different imprinting, as we said, but she was tapping me on the shoulder. When I turned around, she kept tapping me on the shoulder. Her arm was actually around like this. So this shoulder, standing here and going, Jess, watch, watch. 
watch, 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 watch the game, watch the game, watch the game. And I was like, it was like an irritation after a while. And it's like, no, watch what I'm watching. I was watching the most beautiful dawning of a sunrise that was so magical. Mother nature at her finest, so glorious. I'd never seen colors like that. The sky, the feeling, the vibration of this dawning of a brand new age was just had my heart and every cell of my body just, <gasps> that's where I wanted to dive into. That's what made my heart sing. That's where I was like, ah. Oh. And other people I noticed had been turning around too. It wasn't just me because there were a lot of people in the field and we'd all started to just be so mesmerized that our attention, just the game of the football was like, what game? <laughs> And slowly, the energy was so mesmerizing and so powerful, we just began to walk towards that which was pulling us energetically, that which our whole being was responding to and our hearts were going, yes, this, oh, now this is food. This is mm, yum. This is mm, the most delicious, delicious environment to be in. And I mean, I could feel it. I, the, uh, mm, oh. So we walked and, and we just walked and walked and walked and we were just minded our own business and just let the energy pull us, let the hearts call us, let the cellular structure pull us like a huge magnetic attractor, like mercury returning to source when a little blob has been separated from the main little thing of mercury. It just naturally gravitates back. Anyway, what was so interesting as more and more people just stood up out of the stadium, noticed, felt the wall of energy, felt that many people were moving in another direction. They looked at the game. Then they looked at where we were going. They looked at the game. They looked at, and it was like, er, or and so people just were like, I'm going where they're going. <laughs> well, that feels good. And the game, yeah, I've seen it all before. Um, yeah, okay. So it was so beautiful because as the vision went on, suddenly there was nobody around the game. And our players in Australia, they love football and they're saying, oh, we don't want to play on our own. We need the fire of the audience in the auditorium and in the stadium. We need that and that inspires us. So all of that had disappeared and now with social distancing, it's gone. There's no more big football games in Australia at the moment. So all the players, the game started to lose energy. It just lost energy. And after a while, the game stopped and the players went, huh, where's our audience gone? Where is everybody gone? And they just started to to look at where this there was this mass migration, a mass oh, it just movement, a beautiful, magnetic, powerful movement away from the them and us and away from the good and evil and away from that game. And many of the players went, you know what? I'm done. Enough already. And I just watched. I was in this higher reality of watching myself move to the light, move to a much more yummy energy pattern, and then having the ability with the holy ones to see what then happened, the, the aftermath of that choice. And slowly, one by one of the players, they just went, yeah, see ya, done, thank you. And, you know, it was just... Oh, I will never forget it. I will never forget the feeling. I will never forget the demonstration. And that's what I love about our light being friends and the languages of light, because we all have different roles to play. And my role is a storyteller. And yes, I'm a visionary. And yes, I, you know, have dropped into, you know, a different way of being on earth, which has been hard won, you know, like you, I've struggled and suffered and been beaten by life and criticized and, and lots of things have happened, but it's given me strength and courage to go on because truth is truth and you know it. You know it with every cell of your being, every part of you just goes, yes, this 
feels right for me. And so we trust in the rising of the languages of light and how pure nature communicates with us. And now it is choice time. When we talk about packing up, it just means, do you want to play that game anymore or are you done? The, if you go into the, the light is winning and the darkness and the battle and all that, the game's perpetuated. Everything rises and gets stronger by our focus upon it. That's science. It's so simple. So we're choosing now. A beautiful new way of being. Can our hearts say yes, 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 yes. I am ready to step into a way of being that ignites my souls, that feeds my cells, that makes my heart sing, that fills my life with the rhythm of joy and ease and grace. I am ready to flow into this next phase of evolution with effortless ease and with so much synchronicity and so much grace and so much harmony in and to come into the most natural way of being I am ready to embrace being being source fed if this is important for me at this point in my life and to have this happen organically I am ready to receive the highest flows of love and wisdom in every moment of my existence from this point on I am ready yes 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 Lock this in. Make this my truth. I am ready. <coughs> we'll share more soon. This is Jasmine here, just having so much fun with you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for allowing me to share these stories of my life and the things that I've learned from my connection with this beautiful light being family that are here connecting with us all, saying, come, come, come back to this state of being, of true unity that you know, that you know so well.